welcome to a not very animated video, season reviews. Um, with me, I have got Lucy from Torafina. Hello! And she owns a comic book shop, so who better to tell me about what comic books from TV shows are based on TV shows, or TV shows that are based on comics. Um, it's yeah. true, you're getting the specialists in now. Exactly, I'm getting yeah. actual experts, not just me, not just this. This is how much he cares. Idiot, yeah. So that's what we're doing. If you don't like it, please leave a dislike below. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're going to have... It'll be fun, it's going to be fun. Like it anyway, because uh -huh. he's experimenting. Yeah, I, I mean... Maybe you want more general, like comic book club style videos Possibly. talking about the th well maybe not comic book club sorry i forgot you, you do see some reviews i do i do tv yeah I do. more casual discussion videos of course and i think it's it's nice because i don't know ask your audience <laughs> yeah because <laughs> i don't know comics that well so why not hey why not um so i'm gonna ask ask you things. <laughs> yes. We've got some comics here. We've got we some do. graphic novels here. We do. Um, first one, of course, Walking Dead. Walking Dead. I do um, apologize. I have already said I don't have volume one for the iconic cover. That's but fine. We, yeah, Walking Dead. Of course. I just wanted to ask, like, how does it compare? How does the TV show compare to the graphic novel at all? Do you know? It's really interesting because the first issue and the first episode is mm. pretty much scene for scene, panel for panel. Right. TV show. And I remember when I first read The Walking Dead, because it was before the show, I remember mm. thinking, that's all they need to do. And they've got a great TV show. Mm. And it is a fantastic first episode. I take it you've mm. watched The Walking have. Dead. Are you yeah, up to date? I, no, no. Right, no that's spoilers. Uh. <laughs> no spoilers. Mm -hmm. uh, I stopped watching it season four. Right. Because That's same thing for me really. Yeah, uh, I found that there were certain arcs, like prison arc, farm arc, certain mm. storylines in each season, they do appear in the comic books mm. and that's kind of all that stays the same. Okay. There are certain characters that shouldn't be there. There are certain mm -hmm. characters that should. There are certain characters that are so much better in the comic book and terrible in the TV show. Right. And uh, I couldn't watch the TV show. Honestly, hands down, the comic book is so much better. Right, because, like, I mean, that's where I start watching as well. So do you think that um, that's where the, comic, the show decides to divert more away from the graphic novels... And so maybe that's why a lot of people dropped off it at that point. They honestly, no. Uh, they, they, they diverted pretty quickly. After wow. the second issue, the storyline slowly diverts. Then in season two, the character development diverts 100%. Well, even in season one, there are certain things that happen with characters which shouldn't have happened. So yeah. pretty much straight away, they decide, you know what, we're going to take these characters that you love and do something different. But at first, you're kind of like, okay... Well, I get two separate but good zombie shows or mm -hmm. stories. And then I don't know. I don't know if it's because they didn't want to run out of material straight away that they started slowing right. everything down. Or maybe they're listening to their audience. Maybe the majority of the audience wants something different. So they're giving them that. But it just, it wasn't for me. That's fair. I mean, like, I'm not ever against, like, it diverting away from the source material because you don't want to copy it completely because then it's, like, it's not its own thing. And at that point, you might as well just be like, just... Do you know what? It's oh. so unprofessional. So oh. unprofessional. Thanks, Dad. I have no friends. Oh. That's fine. <laughs> Father. <laughs> I'm usually okay with stuff diverting from the source material if it's doing its own thing and if it's good, right? Um, Walking Dead was, I mean, I stopped watching it. That's why, I mean, I don't think it's that good a show. This isn't my review, by the way. Um, <laughs> in my visual review, I'm sure I'll do that eventually. Um, I've never read these. Would you recommend the what 100%, you read? 100%, 100%. They are in my, like, in my top five graphic novels you have to read. That is actually in my top five. Right. It wow. is fantastic. Kirkman, that got made into a TV show for a reason. Mm. And personally, the TV show didn't do it justice. Right. Like, absolutely. So don't watch the TV show. You've heard it here first. Yeah. Just read TV this. TV shows are dead. Yeah. <laughs> right, so done that. Done that. Sorry. That's your, your merch. That's, <laughs> that's 4 dollars please. <laughs> what else do we have here? Would well, we started with something that was already a comic book turned into a TV series. Mm. Now we've got a TV series turned into a comic book, which is Game of Thrones. Right. So, started as a book, then was a TV show, 
and now is a comic book. No, no, what I'm saying is Walking Dead was a book, not oh. a TV series. Yes. Now Game of Thrones. Oh, no, you're right. It was a book. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> what I'm saying is the comic book is the last thing. The TV show yes, was first. Yes, of course. So, sorry. No. We're not talking about books here. TV shows, comic books, okay? So books. It's like the books never existed. Okay? Don't I mean pictures. <laughs> What's for that? I can't read. <laughs> but this is different. This is, I'd actually say, the TV show's better. Right. Yeah. That's I, interesting, yeah. Yeah, I haven't, I'll be honest, I haven't finished this, which says a lot. Mm, but okay. I do have a friend who did finish it, and it's... Basically, it's very text heavy. And for a comic book, I know this sounds stupid. Yeah. You don't want that. <laughs> no, it's a um, visual medium, right? I mean, I know TV is a visual medium, but like you can like get the nuances of someone's performance and yeah. the acting and that it's, kind of thing. It's kind of great, like a cliff note style. So mm. if you wanted to read the book, but you don't have time to read the book because they're really, really thick, mm. you could read this and get the cliff notes version of it. So that's good for that reason. So you could get right. the quick synopsis of the book one in Game of Thrones graphic novel book one. Okay. Um, but beside from that, I'd say take your time, watch the TV show. Yeah. I do know people who enjoyed it. The art isn't great. Is it really good? Is that like the, oh, worth... It's, well, to be fair, um, I love Charlie Adelard's work in Walking Dead, but it gets very rough. Right. Where this... Is it's it's weird. It it looks on face value really really good, mm. but it it gets very bland, and you can't remember which characters which, uh. because especially as well. I think if you watch the TV series, they don't look like the TV show characters in some of them. So you can't even you can't even be like, oh, this is this person. This is this is um, Peter Dinklage, or this is um, yeah other actors playing in games. Other of people. <laughs> Exactly. I mean, it's quite hard when you're first starting watching the show, I think, to like distinguish who's this person, who's that person. You need so a family imagine... tree right next to you mm. and just keep looking at it. It is so difficult. So like with the comic book, the, the graphic novel, I'm sure it's like way harder even there. So possibly, because you're probably learning all the characters all over again because you recognise, mm. oh, that person is that person, just yeah. visually remembering Gotta them. Got to rematch everything yeah. from scratch. So I guess um, don't buy this from Lucy's shop. Don't. <laughs> yeah don't it's fine don't, I accept don't. it <laughs> buy Walk two it, buy... Walking Deads instead <laughs> exactly is there any that you've not got right now that you'd recommend from a, like a comic book so that's, that was a TV it's, show it's actually not one I would recommend but there's loads there's obviously there's Lucifer which actually is a really good Vertigo comic right. uh, and I equally love the TV show and the comic book I've not actually seen the TV show myself Oops. I know oh it's... Yeah, I thought you'd seen everything, Jason. <laughs> yeah. God, you're the TV man. Jason, it's so good. <laughs> Jason, you really need to watch it. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> can, can the audience please keep at him? Just keep commenting, where's Lucifer? Don't do this. Where's Lucifer? <laughs> where's the Lucifer of you coming? <laughs> um, it, it's really, really good. And the, the Vertigo comics are really good. And they're actually quite collectible. Even the graphic novels are quite collectible. But the oh, single right. issues... Wow. But um, the, the one I wouldn't recommend as well, or maybe it's if you like to compare, is iZombie. Right, iZombie yes. is on point TV mm. show. Like, who it's doesn't love iZombie? It's a good TV show. The comic book, I hate. Really? I hate the art. Um, the story, the story isn't bad, to be fair, but it's mm. totally different. There's werewolves in it. What? There's werewolves. Uh, Liz isn't even called Liz. What, what is she called in the... Is it Liz or Liz? <laughs> A cameraman. <laughs> Unprofessional. I can't remember. I think it's Liz. Um, Liv. Elizabeth. Whatever. It's not a name. The, the script is different. There's obviously, mm. there's werewolves. I think there's vampires, but there's definitely right. mythical beings. So it's what like is a... going on behind that? <laughs> um, no, that's, so it's like, it's more like a Monster of the Week thing in the it's kind more of, it reminds comic. me a lot more like True Blood kind of thing. She oh, doesn't get turned right. it's not more vampire-esque, it's not. But it's more the fact that, you know, like with True Blood, there's werewolves and vampires. Like and the world is there more... There is another world besides just humans, where it's just mm. humans versus zombies in the TV bit like, show. A bit like Buffy, in a yeah, sense. Yeah, it's a bit like Buffy, but with really bad art. <laughs> so... Cool. Don't uh, buy that either. Don't. However... Three copies of this. However, <laughs> there is a Buffy comic... Yes, I've heard it. it uh, I mean, I've not read it and I need to because... Um, it carries on from the TV show. Yeah, it's like a sequel. It's like yeah. season eight. And... That's right, season eight onwards. So if mm. you love Buffy and you want to carry on that storyline, 
go by Buffy season eight onwards, and it can t- it's like it's even in seasons. Yeah. So it's easier for you, and you can carry on reading the Buffy storyline. That's one I actually probably will buy at some point. Um, Four ninety five. Angel as well, I think has a. Yeah, he yeah. does, and so does Spike. What Spike has his own? Yeah, own I, d- I I don't know how long the season is, but he actually does have his own storyline. I need that. Yeah, because I was totally a Spike. It was all Team Spike. Fuck okay, Angel. <laughs> no, the show's good. The show's I I, I want to review some some fun. There's so there's so what many gaps. What have you done, Jason? <laughs> nothing. Shit. <laughs> hmm. I will review things at some point Lucifer. in the future. There's so many things. You there, know, there is. There's so m- yeah. one day. One day. One day. I have um, actually started using your channel to pick a new TV show though? Yes, that's that's what I want. Is that's, it? That's like, that's like my goal is like, if people can come to me for recommendations. That's I, could, like... I, I actually like, we're friends. Like mm. I'm not just some random person who just like was like do a video with me. But I have actually started like watching your videos and being like, damn, you review things well. Thank Cause you. I review comics and I'm like, I just kind of say if I like it or not. <laughs> I'm like, oh, no. art, good, story, good. No, you're <laughs> good at it. You're, you're legitimately good at it. It's like, it's, it's like, so comics is something I want to get into a bit more because I have like a couple of graphic novels at home. So like, your channel's probably when I actually start putting money into comic books, I actually probably use your channel more than anything else because I like, I like Excellent. videos anyway. I like watching videos rather than reading stuff. I'm more of a visual learner as it were and you're good at it so sh- shut up but yeah 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 <laughs> also i wanted to quickly because you said you want to get into comics i want to help that transition from tv to comics ah. so i want to give you and your audience a quick insight to what i think would be a good tv show that is right. already a comic so first off I thought Saga would be an excellent TV show. It's a very okay. b- very long story. I think we're on to volume seven already, issue 40, 50 or something like that. And it's effectively Romeo and Juliet in space. Mm. Uh, two planets being at war for centuries. Uh, a man and a woman from each species fall in love, have a baby. Oh, cool. That right. baby is a symbol of peace. So therefore the government cannot allow it to remain alive. So they uh. go on the run. However, I warn you, this is 18 plus material. This is this naked, th- this That's is Game of Thrones, Romeo and Juliet in space. It's what you want. horrific. It's incredible. Yeah, hell yeah. Sheltered <laughs> would be a good Netflix series. Okay. Um, this is about a, a, a little clan in what looks like America or somewhere like that. Mm. And there's a bunch of people who are preparing for the apocalypse of some sort. Oh, okay. And basically they think that whatever's going to happen is going to last for an X amount of years. And they need to prepare for that. At some point, this character is a child, convinces all the other children that the apocalypse, the apocalypse is going to happen sooner rather than later. And there's only enough food to last for half the amount of the duration that they think it's going to last. Oh, okay. So they kill all the adults so it lasts the right amount of time. That's not a spoiler. That's literally the first page. Oh, that's cool. So it's it's the story after they kill the the parents. That's the first sentence taster. That's the... Yeah, that's what happens afterwards. It is... I read all three volumes in one sitting. Incredible, cool. incredible. And last but not least, this actually is rumored to be a TV series. Oh, right. So get issue so one. So get, if you get can there find before it, yeah. everyone else knows about it. Uh, it's r- r- rumored to be a BBC thing. Oh, really? Uh, oh, wow. I haven't heard anything for a while, but it should be a TV sh- series. Mm. Basically, it's Peter Pan's Faust. Uh, it's about uh, <laughs> it's about Peter Pan or an American boy called Peter in Nazi-occupied France. What? That's amazing. (laughs) Yeah, and he's looking for Tink. We don't know who or what that is yet, but he's looking for Tinkerbell. Ah. And he finds a bunch of orphaned French boys, and he finds a British brother and sister, Wendy and Michael. Uh, I think there is another John as well. I think there is three of them. Yeah. And there is these French revolutionaries who are called the... uh, the Red Indians and oh, the leader is so called Tiger Lily. And I like that. all told years later through the story of some of the French orphan boys. Oh right. And I mean, honestly, who were the lost 
if you love fairy tales, I cried reading this because like there's little things like when they first in the first like couple of pages, Peter finds the boys mm. and they're like getting bombed in an orphanage and he's like, Come with me, I'll help you. And they go, how, how do we get out? And he goes, well, it's the first window on the right and straight on. And it's it's the so first it's like star on the right and straight little... on to morning. Or first star on the left. And it, yeah, it's just full of little things like that. And then obviously Captain Hook is uh, a, Nazi a Nazi officer. Nazi. Of officer. And it's, oh, it's just, honestly, if you love like a mix of nostalgia and history and the art isn't great, um, but it's, it's still good and it's mm. worth picking up. So they're the three that I think just offhand should be a TV series. That's fantastic. I probably will check them out yeah. like legitimately. <laughs> yeah. um, fantastic. Anywho, thank you very much for coming Thank on. you for having me. No problem. Uh, if you liked this, please actually tell me because I might want to do more of this type of video in the future. Obviously, this is not the usual kind of thing, but I thought for a, it'd be an interesting one-off for now. But if we... Let Be me know. easy on him. I begged him for this. <laughs> and I need to look into more stuff that's not animated because it takes forever. And I know you guys want more videos. So let this me know. is a compromise. <laughs> this is comprom This is pure compromise. Please let me know. Subscribe to Torafina, of of course. Go see the video we did on her channel. It's um, it's interesting. Don't forget to like and subscribe your oh, channel. Yeah, and that. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.